Oh, got him. Good fish. Big fish. Oh my god. Whatever this is, it's huge. I'm not bass. sure. Is bass. it a bass? It's bass. Yep, it's a bass. Mm-hmm. Don't even think it's a keeper. Oh, yeah, it is. Got him? Yep. All three of mine on the whopper flopper. All three were on the whopper? Yeah. Which is so weird how we're saying it seems like they're not as aggressive as they should be, right? Yeah. But then all three of my keepers are on top water, so it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Well, as you can see, I'm not fishing right now. Not quite yet, anyway. I'm gonna be fishing here in just a little bit with my tournament partner. I'm waiting here at the Valero to meet him to go to Medina Lake, where our tournament's gonna be tomorrow. But uh, anyway, we uh, just got done fishing the uh, 2021 San Antonio Metropolitan League of Bass Clubs annual tournament with uh, Elite Bass Club, of course, the bass club that I'm a part of. And this year, it was at uh, Amistad Lake in beautiful Del Rio, Texas. With the crazy world that we live in these days, we were unfortunately missing a couple of clubs. Uh, two to three clubs were missing. We had five this year. We normally have at least seven or eight, but it actually seems like a couple of the clubs maybe kind of merged or something because we weren't missing uh, that many from the total number of anglers. We had 95 anglers show up and uh, we normally have just over 100, I believe, so we weren't missing that many anglers, really. And actually, our club was tied with the least amount of anglers in the club to show up for the tournament with 17. Usually, there's a lot less than that. There's quite a few clubs that come with only, you know, 8, 9, 10 anglers that uh, fish the tournament with us. So this year, the total number of clubs were down just a little bit, but the total number of anglers is actually not that far off. In this tournament, you do fish out of the same boat with a partner if you want, but uh, your weights will actually be individual. This is an individual tournament, so and it's also a three fish limit. It's not a five fish limit. Each angler will only have three fish in their bag, so the weights will seem pretty low, but uh, that's because it's only a three fish limit for one. And uh, also, the weights are the weights are down pretty far this year, actually. Amistad has been fishing pretty darn tough. Uh, there's been a few tournaments right before our tournament, actually big tournaments and uh, we actually caught a lot bigger fish in our tournaments than they did in these big fish tournaments that just came out so uh, you know it's not that doesn't say anything about the quality of anglers uh, the fact that the weights are down so far that is definitely just saying something about how tough the lake is speaking of the weights the uh, winner this weekend will be determined by the uh, largest aggregate weight from your top eight members uh, with two days combined. So you, we're gonna have two days, the first day of competition and the second day of competition. And uh, you will combine both of those weights for your individual aggregate weight. And then your top eight club members will combine their weight and that will determine the city championship or the city champions for this year. Unfortunately, I tried to show the check presentations, but I uh, didn't hit record somehow when I thought I did. I thought I was recording the whole time and I actually wasn't, but Elite Bass Club, we pulled off the win this year. Uh, we've come up short the last couple years, or I say we, I've only been with them since last year, but they've, uh, they've come up just a tad bit short the last few years, Elite Bass Club, and last year we came up just a little bit short again, but this year we finally pulled off that win. We had several of our anglers actually weighing in pretty nice limits both days and taking home multiple big bass awards, so it ended up a pretty good pay weekend for Elite Bass Club. Actually, including myself, I didn't catch any part of the uh, individual tournament with the aggregate weight or anything, but we have a uh, striper side pot. I ended up actually catching that on the second day too, so it was a pretty good payday for me and for Elite Bass Club. 
let's see how it all unfolds. As you can see, it is pitch black outside right now. Still have an hour before first cast of this tournament here at Amistad this weekend for the San Antonio Metro City of Bass Club's yearly tournament where we fish bass club against bass club. So we're here to get first place and that's all. We're not looking for second or third. There's only five clubs here this year. So first place is the class of the field and that's what you want to be. So that's what we're here to get. It starts today. Oh, golly. Fish just hit me right at the boat. Didn't look like a real small one either. Didn't look real big, but didn't look real small. Golly. Keeper. First cast of the bus, basically. Yep. Good sign. Close. Ah, oh, easy. Huh? Easy. 14 and a half. Nice blow up. Y'all swim bait fish was like this amongst this grass too? What's up? Your swim bait fish was up uh -huh. here amongst this grass? Yeah. yeah. His was right in this corner pocket right here. Yeah. And, uh, and mine was on the other side. We fished the whole front of the bluff. We got a few bites because we missed them on the uh, big spinner bait. In the bluff wall right up front. Yeah. Right here. And we went around the other side and I caught my four pounder over there. And yours is just on a belly weighted hook or what? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. What is it about a quarter ounce probably? Uh probably yeah, maybe okay. three fifteen. Yeah. Oh shit. Fish for sure? Yeah. Wasn't sure if it was grass or not, you started swimming with it. Yeah, yeah. They do that. Dark sucker. Goodness gracious. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Ooh, ooh. Game face on. Yeah. Don't want to play poker with that guy. I got that one bite right where we caught his. We think that we got a few strikes and short bite or small fish just like we did. Yeah. Then we turned this bend over here. I caught my four, and, and then it was time to we had to go to the kind of hour early weigh-in on time. Yeah. Then we never made it back. We fished over there by Castle, and then we went up to the Canyon. Oh, just had a little fish. You get tail. <laughs> Felt to go through yeah. and then let go. Or say a little fish, I don't know. It's a booty shaker. Yeah, yeah. Never know. Yep. 
seen it at Bass Pro. That, I mean, you've seen them. They'll they'll eat other bass's tails sometimes. Oh yeah. Come up and just nip nip the tail. Yeah. yeah. Like you said, they're just territorial sometimes. Yeah. Anything just gets up in there, they just gotta at least scare it away. Yeah. like it didn't look small yep. come on fish mm-hmm Skinny guy, look at that. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Ooh. Golly, yep. Yeah. That was a keeper. Booty shaker? Yeah. Just came up at exactly the same way. You saw a big white flash come up and then I couldn't catch up to it, dude. Wow. Couldn't catch up to it. I didn't even know I had it on. I thought I missed it and it started pulling again. Oh, wow. There you go. Oh, come off, golly. Wow. What in the world is going on today? Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. That's textbook right there, dude. Mm hmm. Oh, he's not that good. Golly, he just got, got caught. Golly. That's why he's so good. <laughs> yeah, that's about the kind of day, huh? Yep. Goodness gracious. Absolutely sat on it, too. Golly. Little booger.
Oh, oh, golly. One chasing it and he stopped. Gosh. Oh, there he is. Maybe a keeper. I'm not even sure. Yeah, first one that came back for it today. I think he might be a keeper too. He's long and skinny again. What's that? Uh, I haven't measured him yet, but I believe so. Oh yeah, keeper. Keeper number two. Yeah, I was very surprised that one came back too because I actually yeah. felt him a little bit the first time even. Uh, like when you, when you felt the hook. Yeah, I, I for sure felt some tension. Yep. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure I've ever seen this high of a non-keeper to keeper ratio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't even think it's a keeper. Oh yeah, it is. Got him? Yep. Uh, hop yep. All three of mine on the whopper plopper. All three were on the whopper? Yeah. Which is so weird how we're saying it seems like they're not as aggressive as they should be, right? Yeah. But then all three of my keepers are on top water, so it's like, I don't know. <laughs> what a weird, weird in between stage they're in or something. That's a keeper. Easy, I think, right? Okay, well there's three for me. Man, I think we if we all just have three, I think it might be good. Um it is, man. That's right? Look at the Permian, dude. Yeah. Yeah, true. That was way worse than normal. Yeah. Yeah, just all your stories kind of made me forget about it. <laughs> all of your well, yours and my dad's actually. Yeah. All the bites y'all had just yeah. made me kind of forget how tough it was. But yeah, Permian was extremely talk to tough. Talk to anybody else other than me and your dad. And Denny Brower. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's been a struggle, man, for sure. The other one is definitely kept. Going down to 78.3 over there in Rocky. Oh! Oh! Come on! There's a lot of white, too. Mm. That looked like a decent fish. He hit it twice again. Yeah, for real. You need that fish, really. That'd be ideal. Golly, man. That did not look like a bad one there. Real little? No, small mouth, yep. Yeah. Uh, right. He's gonna be close. Small mouth are deceptive. Yeah. They look shorter. Gonna be close, close. No. He's only 13. Wow. Oh, oh, we pulled off. Golly. 
Huh? Is that a better fish? I think it might have been. I mean, it wasn't real big. I saw his body when he ate it, but I think it would have called my smallest one. Golly. Yeah. Well, this yeah, the sides in the in the top are black, and then the oh, okay. bottom is kind of just a silverish. Small one, right? Small yeah, one. yeah, 90, 90 millimeter. Mm-hmm. Well, there's some fish on this bank. Come on, little buddy. Stretch for us. Oh, it stinks. I think uh, I just heard wings flap and I looked up and I, I didn't see anything, but maybe it was a buzzard that dropped something. Whatever it was, it stinks. I know. Right? I don't think anybody could even throw that far though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't, after I heard, unless was it that high? It might have been. Because I, I thought I heard something right. like flapping of wings or something. I looked up. Yep, yeah, there it is. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Look like rotten, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Ground beef or something? Yeah. I thought something was, like, threw some ground beef at us. I don't like to leave. Two forty. Watch it getting a little closer to these rocks. Huh? So we're getting a little close to them rocks right there, but we cleared it. good that one was. I didn't contact him until late. I think he was swimming at me. Yeah. Golly. Same spot I missed that one on the frog earlier. Gosh, I don't think it was a small one though. <sighs> Just about par for the course for today. Driving up to the day one way in. Definitely did not have the day we were looking for. My partner's been, actually been here quite a few times last last uh, few weekends fishing tournaments and he's done pretty good. So we were hoping to do really well today, but it's not really looking like it. But you never know. Fishing's definitely been way off. So three keepers might be pretty decent actually. You're also not gonna be able to see me do the weigh in or anything, I don't think. Pretty sure my partner's got to take care of all of that. Usually, how, how they do that, the person in the boat does all the weighing in. I'm obviously the one that goes and gets the truck to recover the boat, so. Your club? Elite. Elite, and your name? Uh, Greg Westall Jr. Okay. And Mike Guevara. Excellent. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Maybe you will see me do the weigh in. I don't know. They just handed me the weigh slips. So, oh, there's my dad right there. I didn't even notice they were right here ahead of us. 
by a couple of boats. He's got one nice one in his hand at least. Get a hold of that monster. I know. <laughs> monster we're gonna be there hard. <laughs> yeah. See this chunk of boat I took out today? No. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. He has a limit, I have one. Good. You. I, I had three and came at two. I'm pull your truck up. Mike. Excuse me? I'm going to pull your truck. Okay, yes sir. Here, I got it. I'll do both. You got it? Alright, cool. Get him? No. Hey, this lake's done. How many you got? You got three? I got three. He's got one. God dang. Who we went in first? Mike, you got Guevara. one. Guevara. Got one. Mike's got one. Yes sir. We got an uh, open scale over here too if we need it. I got it. Alright. Okay. How many you got, Greg? I got three. Four thirty-two. Okay. We're gonna come over. Bag two. Here we go. Oh, well, thank you. Right here. Just make some measures. Yep. And then let me give her a copy. Thank you, sir. What'd you have? I saw you pull out a big one. Tim, this was 475. Yeah. And he got a big striper right now. Oh, nice. He caught a 293. Nice. So what'd you have? Uh, I had 478. What'd he have total? On two fish. Oh, wow. What'd he have total? He had eight something. Huh. That's really so, good, though. Hey, man. How you doing? Well, here we are, morning of day two of the San Antonio Metro Tournament. We're out of first place by one one hundredth of a pound with all of our anglers combined, with their anglers combined. Well, not all of them, actually. I mean, they take the top eight, but still. Eight anglers from the winning club and eight anglers from our club with their total weights all put together are only separated by one one hundredth of a pound right now. So. We need to do what we did yesterday, maybe a little bit better. And I think we should wrap this thing up for a win. Got him. Good fish. Big fish. Oh my god. Whatever this is, it's huge. It's I'm not bass. sure. Is it's it bass. a bass? It's bass. Yep, it's bass. Oh my gosh. I don't know. No. Yeah. What is it? A catfish? No, it's a bass. Striper. Striper? Yep, yep. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> All the way back here, huh? That's cr that's wild. <laughs> On the top water? Yeah, on a really? popper. On the plopper? Uh, pop R. Oh, pop R. Yeah. Stop it, stop it, stop it. God. I think that'll do. Maybe. Long and skinny, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Nice that was crazy. I know. God, I really wish it was. 
how tall that bird is, man. How deep it is back there. Mm hmm. Plenty of room for a big fish back there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they all talk shit when they leave, right? Yeah. Yep. They all talk shit when they fly away. Maldi. Got him. Got him. Uh, he's not that good. <laughs> Maybe. God. Like he was looking at that bait the way he ate it. Oh yeah. He's been following it for a while, man. He's not gonna make it. <laughs> that was awesome. As soon as it landed. I think so. Flap and shag, yeah. I thought I had saw a fish follow it the cast before, so I made a cast right back in there. As soon as it hit, he hit, smashed it. God, I don't know. That's going to be another really close one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're catching good ones in the mix, but it was a lot of these guys. Oh man, this one's even closer. Golly. <laughs> Maybe. I need to go to that nice root. Wait, what's nice root? Oh my gosh, she's so close. Nice Marcus was catching it. Close your mouth. How close then? I mean he's just right. That touches, dude. Yeah, that, that yeah. touches right there, don't it? Yeah, I'll do it. Alright. The opposite fin actually that usually touches. Yeah. <clears throat> Work too hard not to stick that fish. <laughs> Got him. Got him? He was hot. <laughs> and a popper, huh? It was a smallmouth. Oh, is it a smallmouth too? Yeah. Jeez, that's what I caught. That's what I told you I caught. Watch out, Chip. Don't get hurt. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Careful, please. Let him, let him cool down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the yeah, yeah, yeah. Well blood or hooks. <laughs> Alright, I got him. That's what I was just saying. I caught smallmouth back here the other day. I had a good one, but not that good. Oh, those little fish are mean, dude. I thought it was a large That's a smallmouth? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's got a decent sized mouth. I guess it's just a better fish. Yep. Nice. Dude. Thick, thick smallmouth. Holy yeah. cow, that fish is heavy. 
Noise. Yellow magic won't work. Wow, wow, wow. Wild, right, dude? <laughs> I mean, not even spell, Crazy. Like, not even or... Uh huh. Not even seeing perch. Yeah, dude. You, you said exactly what my head was thinking. <laughs> and this looks awesome in a totally different way than the last place. It does. It's all a good area. I mean, all like, you know, nobody's really on like a big pattern or nothing like that. Because nobody's smoking them, you know? Yeah. Shit, I guess other than Matt's got an area over there. Yeah. He's been in there for a while and he's holding. It continues to hold for him, which is great. Other than that, I feel like everybody's just... Yeah, there's so many high... And not even high percentage areas for a giant bag, just high percentage areas to catch damn fish. You know? Yeah, exactly. Like, where do fish usually hang out? Right, go to the bluff. You know, that's where Ramon did, or... Who's going to Ramon? It's Raymond. Like, oh, if I go to the bluff and bust out a Ned rig, easy money. Oop. Oh, gosh. Did you get a bit? Yep. Smallmouth. I saw him. Yeah, might have been a keeper. Dang it. Let's go somewhere for the last hour, dude. All right. Go to the canyons over there in the nighty. The smallmouth are way, obviously more active than the largemouth, you know? Dude, if someone could find enough smallmouth, you could have won this thing with smallmouth. I know. <laughs> He found six small now. He's gonna be in line by two, so we can fish a little bit longer, right? Yeah. Do what? I thought it was a lot deeper right in front of the smiley. It's only five feet in front of this one. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, how am I getting down so quick? I thought it was like 20. Alright, man. Sorry, dude. I put in some time to give us a good trip. And... No, yeah, it's nothing to be sorry about. You didn't, not like you didn't put in the work, like you said. So, that's okay. just fishing. Yep. Well, we thought yesterday was tough. Today was even tougher, so I don't think we got the job done to win the Metro City Tournament, but we'll see how it all shakes out here. I do have a striper for the striper side pot. We have a striper side pot every year. Here at Amistad, there's some full-blooded stripers in here, so they have a little striper side pot just for fun. Well, I say just for fun, for real money though, so hopefully I can win that, I don't know. I've got a decent one, probably about three pounds, but I think that's what's leading the striper side pot right now too, so it'll be close. Hi, you're Elite? Elite, yes ma'am. So do you use your GoPro a lot? I do. Do you really? Yeah. Um, All the time, every time I go fishing. Do you really uh, know your name? Westall Jr. and Guevara. Mike. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Did you hear Woody's wife got a 10 something? Who? Woody's wife. A 10 something? Yep. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Good for her. Yep. She's not with SAPD, is she? Uh, Who are they with? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, what's the fucking bet? That's awesome. What do you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 This is me, Westall Jr. How many got you, Greg? Just one. One? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 13. I have 190. I got a striper in there too. Oh, oh sorry. Hey, hey, buddy, hey. hey bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead anyway, so. How many is Mike got? He's only got one. Oh, uh, it's Mike, okay. Yeah. 
I thought you had those feet thorns in his head now. <laughs> he got some extra dirt weight. There we go. Yeah, we got Big stretch. What we got? That's probably it. 346. Nice, great. Woo. <laughs> Kenny done. Nah. Yeah. 193.46 initial day. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yep. Here you go, sir. Thank you.